Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Sweepy Art News. I'm here with Ian Briggs from BAC Mono. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for being here, Ian. I know you've just come out of the keynote. Um, it was a great speech, um, great presentation. Thank you. First of all, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you've come into designing this amazing vehicle here. So, as you said, my name's Ian Briggs. I studied automotive design at Coventry. And uh, my brother, also a car fanatic, studied automotive engineering. So. We had a car uh, design and engineering consultancy, um, end of the 90s, early 2000s, and we'd always wanted to create a car with a completely new approach. We didn't want it to be anything to do with transport, we wanted to create a piece of sport equipment for a sport of driving. What I've got out of the, the Mono is it's about the experience, it's not about A to B. Yeah. So the application that that can have on Superyachts for the Superyacht guests, they have it on board, almost take the place of a tender and when they go to their different locations, they can deploy them, maybe one or two, yeah. and then take them out and experience as guests. Is, it, is that the application you see on Superyachts? And what, what, going further with that, how do you see the experience going? Kind of. Um, I guess you can get around on a scooter or on a little smart car. Uh, if you want to get around in luxury, you can hire a limousine. And if you want to go and have something a bit more sporty, you could hire a Ferrari, uh, wherever you've arrived at. But if you want the pure experience that only Mono can offer, that focused piece of sport equipment for an extreme sport. If you want that, you have to take it with you. Did you find any uh, complications marinizing the vehicle for application on the yachts at all? That you have to give up on performance or anything like that? Is no, uh, you don't have to give up on performance. I mean, um, the main elements were to protect the electronics. And so we took out the regular uh, automotive uh, wiring harness and it's replaced with military spec, um, which is the kind of thing you'd expect on, let's say, a helicopter that operated from a ship. Um, and uh, things like uh, anodized parts became hard anodized, um, substitute some of the materials for stainless steel instead of regular steel, but nothing that significantly changes the product at all, really.